Hey! Hey, Bash! 20th of November, 2018, and I did a very short video a couple days ago. I put it up on the other channel um, regarding the lions and all these crazy things, but this is what I'm going to focus on right now here is the lions. I was showing how there was this influx of things about lions and we had this lion air crash we had the the lion cub in the lambo uh, the green lambo the lion and the lamb the 33 year old man okay and we had this rare white tiger uh, that's all over the news uh, there's just lions and tigers and bears essentially uh, this is really crazy stuff we just had a mayor uh, in Jerusalem told to prepare for the third temple and his name is lion Moshe lion we know what the Bible says there are multiple things uh, the lion of Judah comes into mind but so does this verse here first Peter 5 verse 8 be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour okay steadfast in the faith it's all about faith people and so I'm seeing this lion uh, pattern big time and I showed on the other video how I put lion into the gematria and what I got and it was interesting the 119 911 in the Jewish but the 300 is what really caught my eye then and at the time, I was talking about this Paris Peace Forum, okay, where all the leaders were there except Trump, okay? So I'm led to put into the Gematria, except I just put Donald, okay? And I get an exact, exact match to Lion, which is very strange and not a normal occurrence if you know what I mean so I continue on and this morning is what sent it all off now I, in that video you should go see it it's only a few minutes but it talks about you know Hillary uh, the rise of the lawlessness in the land and all these various things okay but this morning I see that uh, on Thanksgiving on 11 22 11 days after this event and the uh, the event that they had at the Arch on the Chumps DLCs in Paris. You remember that? The same place where the lion cub was found. Okay. This is all crazy stuff that I cannot interpret all of it. All I can tell you is there is a obvious and big pattern here that we really need to pay attention to. The lions. I mean, there are there's lions being... Uh, uh, killed all over the place for their blood and their claws and everything for uh, satanic rituals and occult practices and whatnot but what really caught my eye really was this morning when I saw this that the lions will be playing the bears on the 22nd Thanksgiving Day 11 11 11 when you really look at it because that's what it interprets out to if you look at let's look at 22 according to the Bible and it's it's a double 11 double disorder and chaos 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet okay the Alpha and the Omega yeah think about these things 22 things were created in the six days of creation so the 22 on, on uh, November 22nd 11 11 11 which is 11 days after this event okay now I don't know I just don't know but I know there's something here so when I continued on and I saw the Detroit Lions just like I done with the word lion I just put Detroit Lions okay now I'm going based on the English the six count okay Detroit Lions 9 6 okay there's your 69 your 960 but I'm also thinking about all these leaders okay you had 
Putin and Erdogan and Netanyahu and on and on, Macron, Merkel, all of them, right, at this peace forum. And we see all these things going on today with, uh, in the news, you know, uh, Russia's wor worried about the nuclear agreement that Trump, Trump's being basically segregated. We're being kind of set apart from the rest of the world. They want their world governance. And Trump is saying, no, we don't want that. They say that peace is linked with global governments. Trump is saying, no, that's not true. Donald, the 9-11-300. Now, you got to look into this stuff. I just don't have time. I wish I did. I mean, I want to I want to interact with you guys because we're family, man. I mean, we are brothers and sisters, and that's what this is all about. So, the Detroit Lions, though. When I started looking into this a little bit more, it pretty much freaked me out because what I see related to this, okay, and it goes back to this forum 11 days prior to the 22nd on the 11th just just try and try and wrap your mind around this because it's we had uh putin at this uh paris summit 960 exact match to detroit lions okay the bears the lions are playing the bears right i'm just saying this is, this is how I see things, you guys, okay? So Detroit Lions is a perfect match to Vladimir Putin, okay? But it doesn't end there. Remember, Russia and Turkey, Iran, and all these, these uh, countries are forming a coalition. They, they're, they're getting ready. The lines are being drawn. And America is not in that, that group, you understand? Putin is an exact match. Are the lions and the bears you understand and not only that erdogan to yip erdogan a perfect match all right and the other day i was also telling you about hillary i'll leave a link to the other channel okay hillary the lawlessness that is emerging we see the spiritual war the lawlessness okay and and you just got to wrap your mind around that when the wicked and the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who letteth. Second Thessalonians 2 7. There's your 22 again, right? And this is emerging. It just is. I was showing you um, how Hillary is now a bona fide member of this witch's coven, which we all knew already. But nonetheless, there it is, right? And we can't forget what the Bible says about. The lion, all right? First Peter 5, verse 8 describes it perfectly because that's what we're dealing with, okay? And it's the lion of Judah that we want to seek. Jesus is the remedy for all of this. He's the truth, the life, and the way. So I'm seeing all the lions. I see the Detroit lions uh, playing on the 22nd of November, Thanksgiving Day, the same day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, and it's the same exact match to Erdogan and to Putin, and get a load of this. Uh, the restrainer, okay, for the mystery of iniquity does already work, only he who letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. 2 Thessalonians 2 7, there's your 22 again, and your 9 11. He who letteth, G. Two seven two two nine eleven two two two. You understand? And that definition is the restrainer. So, what do I do? I put the restrainer in, and look what I get a perfect match. So, it's a double edged message. There's a lot going on here, you guys. A lot. And I just simply cannot in a million years cover it all. Okay? Don't forget, we had a mayor called Lion who is preparing for the third temple in Jerusalem. This is all coming together, you guys. You need Jesus. You need the truth. And Jesus is the truth. So if you're seeking the truth, you need to seek Jesus. But you better be humble. And you better love the truth because it will set you free. Literally. And there's probably a million things that I'm not covering here. 
Uh, but I'm sure a lot of you will catch it because that's what we do as a family. That's what we do as a body. We put it out there and we see what the other body members come up with. And it's just a beautiful thing. And I love you guys. I truly do. So, the lion. The lion of Judah. The lions and the bears. All this stuff, right? Oh, and one more quick thing. This is kind of funny, just to kind of end it with, okay? Trump. Oh, by the way, this was one of my random Bible verses this morning. Isaiah 29, 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and the works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? Who does that describe? Maybe Putin? How about Erdogan? And the Detroit Lions on 11 11. Or 11 22, 11 11 11. So these are the things that I see and the things that I need to report because they're relevant. All right. So discern all things. Okay. Bring it to the word. Bring it to prayer, because the time is upon us. Time is short. There's a great deception on this world, and you don't want to fall for it. Uh, but the funny thing I wanted to show you about Trump was today he is doing the turkey pardon. Okay? Now, this is nothing new, but uh, he is doing it differently this year. Um, he is allowing, they're getting two turkeys, okay, two turkeys, and he is allowing the people, okay, that's what he did, by email you could sign up and the people could choose which turkey gets set free and which turkey is slaughtered, okay, does that remind you of anything, Leviticus 16, I believe, uh, and the, for the first time also, now think about that, though. He's letting the people choose which one he will pardon, okay? There's just some kind of message here. I just thought it was kind of funny. But for the first time, he's doing that. And for the first time, the turkeys are coming from South Dakota. And that struck me as strange as well. Only because the 44th Missile Wing, the ICBMs, are stationed in South Dakota, if I'm not mistaken. That just popped into my head. The 44th Missile Wing. You can look that up. 44th Obama. The wing is the covenant that Hillary is a member of. Lifetime honorary member. The witch's coven. This is just crazy stuff. So I just wanted to share that too with you. Because I thought that was kind of funny. Okay. So seek Jesus Christ first, foremost, and always. And peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 